everybody. Welcome back. It is dark in here. Like my light. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix my light really quick. I'm sorry. I thought I had it like kind of bright. Knock the camera, I guess. Um, is that going to work better? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you think you're ready to go and then you're just not. Anyways, welcome. Hey, Denise. Let's see, I see a couple of you joining in. Hey, Kathy. So, tonight, it's still dark. I don't know. It's just going to be this weird glow. I've got to fix these lights in here. So, tonight, we are going live. Hey, Susan. Um, and I am sharing with you guys something that is very, very basic very um, simple and easy to do. It probably doesn't even cost a dollar, y'all. It probably costs a dollar, maybe. Maybe two if you're gonna get a little fancy with it. Um, this is a craft that my grandmother made. My grandmother passed away this year, earlier in the year. Um, she was 98, you guys, and every single year, I'm, I said I wasn't gonna cry, so I'm not gonna do that. But every single year, um, she used to make these things that I'm going to show you. It's an actual mobile. It's like a Christmas decoration. And she was so proud of it. She had a pattern that she used over and over, year after year. And a couple years ago, she gave it to me when she couldn't make them anymore. She knew I was crafty. And she passed the pattern down to me. The one that we display in our home was actually made from her and in the little box that we keep it in um i think it was like a box like you would put like a scarf in she kept in there her pattern and her personal um mobile that she did and so i'm not going to show it to you just yet because i kind of want you to kind of see as we go through like how exactly easy it is but um, it's a Santa mobile and you can hang it anywhere in your house. It is super adorable. You can do it with your kids. And I just really cherish this um, thing and it, that costs literally nothing to make, but it is just so adorable. And so before um, we get started, I wanna show you her pattern um, that she had, that she made. And it has like, her handwriting on it, you can see. And these are like the little pieces um, that she like made this pattern. Now, I don't know if you can find this on the internet somewhere. I don't know if it was originally her idea or if she got it from like some of her friends. I have no clue, but um, it's just really cool that like she kept this paper pattern handwritten and you can even see like the hundreds of pinholes where she pinned it into felt um, to cut this out. So what I have actually done for you guys to make it simple, if you see in the description of this live, I put a link to my resource library. It's a free resource library. You can download tons of patterns and files in there. I don't. I think I have over 100 in there. If you have a Cricut or Silhouette machine, you have, there's tons of SVGs in there, there's printables, and what I have done is I have hand drawn her personal pattern onto um, a paper that you can print off, it's actually this way, um, and just right before going live, I have put it up into the resource library. You can download it as a PDF and cut it out, or you can actually load it into um, your Cricut or Silhouette machine and cut it on paper if you want to. You can use it as an SVG file for any other kind of medium. Um, I don't typically run felt through my cutting machines, but I know some of you do, you use the rotary blades. So it's available for you to do and use and create um, the Santa mobile that we're gonna make today. And I pre-started um, showing like, or cutting out some of these, and I did it my grandmother's way, I hand cut out the um, pattern using her pattern. And so it's just something that is very simple but just near and dear to me. So I just thought it would be fun to share it um, and show you guys like this cute little decoration that we have in our home. Um, and we actually use um, this over our dining room table. We have like a lantern 
type of lamp, like it's, it hangs down, it's not straight up into the ceiling, and um, we display it there. So I'm gonna cut a few pieces and then I'm gonna show you exactly how this looks. And let me just use her pattern because I wanna, I wanna get it accurate to hers. Um, I remember the day she showed this to me and she was so excited about it. She was like, look, this is so cute and it is so simple and you can make them. And she gave me the pattern. And every single Christmas, um, you know, this Santa mobile has been in my decorations, but I, you know, have just put it out and whatever. And this year, of course, when we went through and we pulled it out, I was a little, you know, emotional about it because this was her pattern. This was her thing. I'm pretty sure all of my cousins, all like my brother, everyone in our family has been gifted one of these from her um, in their lifetime. And if you guys are, if you're my cousins or whatever, you happen to watch this, um, I know you're gonna go pull it out right now if you have it. So it's basically three colors of felt, okay? And look, you only need like one red sheet um, and maybe two white. And if I'm correct, felt sheets like at Walmart or a Joann's store typically cost you like a quarter, I'm not even sure, like not a lot. And you can totally, um, like I said, get away with making one of these for less than a dollar and have this cute little decoration. I the, the key to this too is you're making two of everything because it's a mobile. So when it spins, which it will, you will actually, um, have the same thing happening on the front as the back, okay? And somebody, like, I, I see some of my teacher friends on here. These would be cute to kind of hang in a classroom um, from the ceiling as well as a Christmas decoration. And I even see, like, how you could make some of these as, you know, you could make something similar doing, like, Christmas trees or, I don't know, something fun like that for the kids, too. But anyway, I'm just going to cut out my little hat top here. You could probably even eyeball this and not even use the pattern, but like I said, it's something that's special to me, so I'm definitely using her pattern, trying not to um, cut it because she's no longer with us. If you joined earlier, you know that she's no longer with us, and this was her personal little pattern that she used. It has her handwriting. The paper is like aged, and it's um, been poked with little um, needles, you know, like to attach it to the felt so she got it for size. I'm more of like the eyeball crafter, but that is how she did it. And so anyway, I just thought it would be super fun to show with you guys. Okay, so you have like a Santa top here and then you cut out, which I don't think I have cut yet. Let me do that really quick um, with a piece of white. You cut out the like puff of the hat and she actually has like, the circle for the puff of the hat, obviously you can eyeball this. You don't need the pattern, but um, it's nice to have too, just so you can get it precise. Or if you wanna use like the SVG file for something other than like with felt, like paper, or if you're making a bunch, you know, and you wanna have all the pieces pre-cut or something like that, then obviously the SVG file is the way to go. But if you're just doing it by hand just to make one, then you don't typically need it. It's just really easy to kind of eyeball. So you have two of everything, right? And we glue, we're going to glue them together because you run a string through each piece to kind of keep it all together. So I'm gonna start with that and I'm going to go ahead and put my like little puff on my hat. Can you guys see that? So I'm just going to go ahead and get that warmed up and then we have, let's see, you know like how a Santa hat has the white fuzzy cuff. So there's a piece for that, which I'm gonna hold it up while that warms up and just kind of show you. Like this is, goes part of our little hat. Does it, does it look Santa-ish yet? You see with our little puff, you see how we look like a Santa hat so far? And then we have a section that has the Santa eyes, which are actually diamond shaped or like, you know, uh, like a trapezoid, I guess you'd call it, right? And then it has black button eyes for the Santa. And then we have his beard with a little red jolly 
knows. And so it is so cute. I don't think this is going to be warmed up enough to tell you, but or to show you, but I will show you the one finished. So if you just joined, this is the pattern. I hand drew it and I uploaded it as an SVG file and a PDF file that you can download from the link in the description. But I'm gonna, I'll show you guys her Santa Mobile. Um, it's just so adorable. Anyway, here it is. Okay, and she just used an ornament hook to actually hook it on the top. But look how cute this little guy is. Once you have all the pieces together, it's a little Santa Claus made of felt and it's a mobile. So it kind of moves and rotates and it's not a lot. It's nothing much, but it's just special to me. And I just thought I had to share it with you guys and show you um, this cool little thing that my grandmother um, made in her days here. So, um, and then she just took like a little um, piece of yarn to like extend it from the hat and she poked a hole here and then this is thread just white basic thread you know like this that she just threaded through a needle and attached the eyes and then the long piece in the middle for the nose and beard and you can see it's all hot glued together on both sides each piece has is doubled up so that no matter which way it turns you always see a perfect front and I just want to show you the beard really quickly is actually like a piece of the whole felt. You can just fold it over like so and then glue it down. Let's see if I can get the glue. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Okay. You can glue it down and then you just match the ends up. And it's not like perfectly straight because beards really aren't. You can see like there's a waviness to this beard. Um which is just going with how my grandmother actually cut it out, like cut her pattern. And then you would just attach everything from there. You do a little half on this side and you do another half from this side. But before you begin, you actually tie the string knot. Let me do that. And we just tie a little knot in our thread, maybe two, just to kind of make it thick. And we thread it through our felt top. Here, oh, you can actually just put the two pieces together like this. And then what I'm going to do is Take my needle and before I hop to so like the top of my nose, you can see it's kind of open. Before I do that, I'm going to run my string for the mobile part right through the fold. Um, and I glued that down already, so I can't really do that, but <laughs> should have known. I can do it through this part right here, just so it comes out through the top. So, sorry about that. I did that backwards. But now I have my string there and then I'm just going to glue my nose down to the other back nose. Make sure when you're cutting it out that you cut, see, like that, you cut the circles at the same time so they are even. And then you're going to do the top piece and you'll add the eyes second. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put my hat together. And you really don't need a ton of glue for this. You just put the two pieces, add it to um, your little puff, super easy. Like I said, your kids could do this. And then I'm going to attach my cuff on my hat on one side and flip it over. And before I finish that, I'm going to put my bottom to my Santa right through where I want this to hang. And you just kind of want to watch your distance, right? Because you're going to have two eyes hanging, so you don't want it to be, you know, too, uh, too long, but not too short either. 
And I'm just gonna stitch knot this off into place, just twice through and make sure I loop it like a knot and then just let it be secured like that. And then I will cut the excess off, glue my back to my cuff, make sure you got it going the right way. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And I'm just gonna add my glue and it kind of helps with the string too, already being in there helps secure that. And so look, I've already got most of my Santa done and it's a cute little mobile. So here's the finished one. Oops, and I got tangled. So you see like how simple and easy these little Santa mobiles are. And it's just really fun. It's a cute little fun craft. And like I said, we hang ours from our little chandelier over our dining table. And it kind of hangs just like the right length, depending on your string and how high your light is. It's just a super cute fun. It's kind of got some whimsy to it with your decorations and how cute would these little Santas be, you know, everywhere. I do have her original one, which I have to share just because it was my grandmother's and she would be proud. So look how perfect the uh, felt, and it's kind of like yellowed over the years. I probably would guess that this is at least 40 or 50 years old, this one, um, because her white felt is a little more cream colored, but this is the one that she had that she gave to me when she gave me the pattern and the nose and everything is actually stitched and so are parts of the eyes with like black thread so you can even get a little more fancy with it but how cute are these little santa mobiles super adorable i love them but anyway so that's the craft i have for you guys today so if you tuned in thanks for watching i will be back tomorrow I am working my way up to some more decor. We're gonna, I think we're gonna do gnomes tomorrow. And we're gonna use some boots and ornaments to make feet for our gnomes. So if you guys are interested in watching or seeing that, come back tomorrow, I will see you then. I hope you have a good night and I will see you tomorrow, bye.